Hey everybody, this is John Rice, aka The Lexpert. I'm a realtor in Lexington, Kentucky, and I'm getting ready to take you on a neighborhood video tour. Today we're going to be in a neighborhood called Stewart Hall, and I'm parked right in front of the middle school, Edith J. Hayes, that's right smack in the middle of the neighborhood. All right, I'm cruising around Stewart Hall. It's located uh, between Richmond Road and Todd's Road in the east part of Lexington, not too far from uh, the Athens interstate exit there on I-75. This is kind of what the typical house is like out here. According to the PVA, there's 284 houses out here right now. And most of them are, you know, built in the 2004, 5, 6, 7, even some newer ones, uh, newer than that right now. They've got a lot of two-story houses. There's some ranches. A lot of these have basements. Some of them are finished. Some of them aren't. The values out here seem to run between about 225 for some of the smaller houses on a slab or crawl space. Uh, it's about 375 if you get one of these big ones with a finished basement. I'm on a road called Hannah Todd right now. And uh, there's one of two sections out here where there are some townhouses. Not going to be too many. The values for these, uh, last time I checked, you know, probably about in the 140 range. This, this road just makes a big loop. And there is some uh, new construction going on. This neighborhood's probably about 98% done. So I thought I'd drive you on this street, just show you some of the newer ones. I think we've got a couple of ranches around the bend here. Got some vacant lots too. The school district out here is Breckenridge Elementary, uh, which is way down Richmond Road. And of course the middle school is Edith J. Hayes, which is right in the neighborhood. I mean kids could walk to school out here easily. And the, Henry, and the uh, high school is Henry Clay High. So, uh, you know, you got a really good middle school, a really good high school, and probably an average uh, elementary. So, I, I would overall, I'd say that this is a well-rounded school district. I'm on a road called Logan's Fort right now. And I wanted to drive down this road because uh, a little bit beyond these houses uh, is Richmond Road. And right now the area behind these houses is probably zoned agricultural or uh, agribusiness type thing. It's uh, probably something that isn't going to last forever because, you know, Richmond Road is a main, main road and the interstate isn't too far out. Um, I wouldn't worry about it, but I just want to point that out that at some point that zoning is going to change. And my guess is there'll be like retail. Um, you know, commercial behind these houses on Richmond Road. If you look on a map, this neighborhood's kind of bound with, by Hayes Boulevard, Richmond Road, and the interstate. It kind of makes a triangle there, and, and a neighborhood called Childsburg as well. Uh, so I, I think that's pretty good. You don't have a lot of opportunity for negative influences to come into the neighborhood. Um, however, you know, at some point you will have that commercial back there, but I think that's far enough out because there's enough commercial right around the interstate exit at Athens, and then also um, I think where if you go out Richmond Road, you have to pass the two big lakes at Jacobson Park, and uh, I think that's going to be kind of a uh, natural barrier for the commercial development. It's not even filled in yet on the other side of those lakes. One of the things that I do like about this neighborhood is that the lots seem to be a little larger to me. I know a few people that live out here and uh, they've got really good sized lots. So I, I think that this neighborhood is going to appeal to somebody who uh, wants a newer construction house that's you know got the current styles and uh, finishes floor plan and then also somebody that wants a little bigger lot. Here you go, I'm on a stop right here. You could see, even though that is just kind of wide open there, uh, 
the lots are a little bigger than you typically get in this price range for newer construction in Lexington. I think also the uh, location is pretty unique. You can get to Richmond Road real easy. Uh, then you can also go down Todd's Road and uh, get to anything you want in Hamburg. It, it's it's kind of neat in the sense that you can get to Hamburg, but if you don't want to deal with Hamburg traffic, you can go out on the Richmond Road side. Uh, you know, whereas some neighborhoods, especially on the other side of Hamburg, you're dealing with Hamburg traffic anytime you're going anywhere in Lexington, and you really don't have that here. So I give this neighborhood a thumbs up. I would live here. Um, and I think it's, it's got a good, solid future, good investment too.